Hello everybody, Nemesis Prime 85 coming at you with another video and today we're going to be looking at the Transformers Studio Series Barricade. And first off, we will take a look at the packaging. He is Barricade. There's a really nice picture of Barricade in the front. He's a Studio Series. He is from the first movie. It's not the Dark of the Moon one. Transformers, the Generations, and the Takara logo up top. And we got that same picture of Barricade on the side. I think, yeah, it's the same picture. He's a deluxe class, and read that if that's your language. I'm not butchering your language. Studio Series, he's 28. You got a really, also very nice picture of Barricade on the bottom. Stuff on the top, Transformers. And on the back of the box, uh, we have Barricade. Okay, I'm going to cover that. He's a Saline. This is licensed by Ford and Saline. Saline, I don't know how to say it. The backdrop is included. Then you have... Nice picture there of Barricade, as well as his robot and vehicle form. And uh, Barricade launches into a high-speed pursuit optic set on username ladiesman217. Alright, well, that is it for the box. And we'll put him off to the side. And here is what you're all here to see. Little Barricade. Yay! Yeah, but as you can see, he's a police cruiser. There's nothing really special, but we'll take a look at the detail. It says they even put on the, uh, the punish and, to, and enslave. Uh, <laughs> to punish and enslave words on the side. 911. 643 is his number for some reason. Police. Popo. He's part of the uh, Decepticon police, too. Same detail on the other side. The back, you can see a the uh, saline word the back there. And I believe Toy Hacks is coming out with a uh, repro label set for that. And there is a little license plate right there. So it works perfectly. On the top, 643. On the bottom, you can see his buddy. He's a police cruiser. What else am I supposed to say? Uh, but we will put him off to the side and do some comparisons. So first off, uh, let's see who should we bring in first off. Mm, there's a lot to pick from. All right, we'll do him first. We got uh, Cogman from the last night. This is the studio series, by the way. Didn't mention that in the uh, sideswipe video. As you can see, he's way smaller. They're cars. What else, What am I supposed to say? And then you got little Clunker B for that whole scene in the first movie that took up way too much time in that opening scene. But Michael Bay didn't really know what he was doing. Not pointing fingers, but Michael Bay. And that is all we will do for comparisons. And now... Uh, wait, nope. There's one more. There's one more that is the most important comparison. Oh, he's covered in dust. Give me a second. We have the original Barricade. And I like this one's vehicle mode way better because it scales a lot better. And as you can see. Yeah, I, I prefer this one. Just because it's a, a bigger... And it scales better with, like, Movie Masterpiece, Optimus, and, I mean, the Barricade, the Movie Masterpiece Barricade looks good, but I don't think I'm going to get that, just because I don't really need, have a need to get Barricade, but, um, yeah, I'll probably have the Optimus and that's it, but, um, okay, now we will get down to the transformation of this figure. And it's kind of a crazy transformation, but it works out well. So first what you're going to do is come back here, click this piece, and swivel it up. Then you want to take these doors and kind of pull them out and split this whole section right there. And then split that. These will come undone. You can just kind of bring those out to the side for now. 
Again, keep these down. Bring the foot, foot out and down. And then you can take this whole arm assembly and just swing it up for now. Come on. There you go. And then we can start working on the legs. So the legs just kind of collapse on each other. And then this little bit right here will notch into his leg. It doesn't tab in or anything. It just kind of sits there. It works. Extend the leg. Plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. And there you got his legs. So now what you want to do. Take this whole assembly right here. And it's... It, wait, no. Before you do that... This is all rubber, and that'll, like, notch in right there when you're in vehicle mode. Take that whole grill section and kind of bring it up. And then you can take the uh, the plate with the 643, pull it up, and swing it around back here. And then take this hood section and swing it around. Let me raise the camera. Okay, then you can take this whole assembly, and that will just notch in down there if you do it right. And then you can bring up his head for now. And then just take the backpack, get it out of the way, and move it up. And the arms, again, bring those down. Take the whole door section and hinge it up. And then take his hand out from there. And bring that up and peg it in. There's one arm. The second arm is exactly like the first. Bring that down a little bit. Blot his hand. Bring that in the rest of the way, close it up, and there you got his arms. And the last minor detail, but it does make a world of difference, and I really like it. Straighten out his legs so I can show you. And I really like this little trick. You take this, push it down, and twist it. Just a little bit to make his chest look more accurate to how it did in the movie. And there you go. There you have Studio Series Barricade all transformed up. And he does he does look pretty good. I think the arms... Eh, his arms are the only problem I have with this guy is just, like, the windows are hanging out right there. But, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little barricade. And I always... I like the design of Barricade, even though... He didn't have that big of a role, so he's not really a character that everybody's like, oh, yeah, Barricade's sweet. But, um, yeah, so we'll take a quick look at the details, so then you can zoom in on his face. There you have some pretty nice details. Okay, on mine, that one's this eye is a little painted, but this eye is super painted. I don't know what they were thinking, but yeah. Uh, his chest, his groin, his legs, and his little feet. And the arms is literally just the door collapsed on itself. It's the uh, the back. It doesn't look very good. And these rubber bits, I think, are supposed to be the uh, the windows that he has. But I don't know. I don't know. They don't really look good like they did on uh, this guy. But, um, yes. So, articulation-wise, he's he's decent with articulation. You can get some good poses out of him, but I'm probably just going to have him holding what I'm about to show you after I do all the articulation and stuff. But, um, so first, the arms are on a ball joint, so they can do a full 360. And then they do bend at that joint to have an elbow movement. And then the hands can move, but that's for transformation. And then the thumb can open quite a bit. There you go. His head is on a ball joint, and it can kind of do a 360, but it's like rubber, and I don't want it to damage the rubber. So yeah, and then the legs are also on a ball joint so they can do what ball joints can these do move and you can even get some like crunched up leg movements if you use that hinge that's for transformation then the feet also for transformation move like that so like i said he's okay for transformation but if you want to get some good poses you really got to use his uh his transformation hinges and that 
kind of disappoints me. But accessory wise, he has one, and so what I'm gonna have him holding is his little like tire frisbee death wheel thing. I don't know. Just I honestly don't know. But it's it's okay. These are all made out of rubber, so they don't hurt anybody. That's in uh, molded detail on the inside. And then to put it in his hand, you just literally put it in the hole and then move his arm up. There you go. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about transformation are the mirrors on his door. You do want to take those and push those back. I totally forgot about that, and I just hit it while I was putting that on. But yeah, you want to put those mirrors back so it cleans out the arm. There you go. But, um, yeah. So there you got his, uh, his tire, axe, frisbee, wheel of death. I, don't, I still don't know what Michael Bay was thinking with Transformer movies. But, um, for comparison, we'll bring in Bumblebee movie Bumblebee. And yet, again, he is smaller, like he was, than the Sideswipe. There you go. And speaking of Sideswipe, here is Sideswipe, right there. And they're about the same size. And bring in Studio Series Ratchet. There you have that. And I think these two, they scale together pretty well. I think, I honestly think that uh, Barricade should have been a little bit bigger than him. But, I mean, what what do I know? I'm, what do I know? I'm just, I'm a noob. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you have that. And just because, here is the Last Night Barricade. And... Just because I still didn't put these guys back on my shelf because I just barely reviewed Sideswipe. Here we have Optimus Prime. There you go. And just because, again, didn't put it back on my shelf, here's Bumblebee movie Optimus. And there you go. So. Overall, he's a cool toy. I really like how they engineered his uh, chest with the uh, bumper section. I really do like how that looks. And uh, yeah, and I am dumb. I didn't grab all of the figures I had out for trans er, comparison. And here he is with the almighty Megatron. I think that looks pretty good. So, there you go. So, as I was saying, overall, he's a nice toy. Really do like his chest and how the bumper section bends in to make it more movie accurate. But, uh, yeah, he is, he's a really nice toy. Really, he's, he's a good for a studio series, but I th wish he was a little bit bigger and he was more of this guy's size. I'm going to keep freaking out about the size but whatever but um yeah it's barricade he didn't really have that big of a role but um yeah and i picked up this figure sideswipe and uh the uh studio series thundercracker from a place in salt lake city called megalopolis if you want to go check them out they're good they've got a wall of studio series siege everything even from Masterpiece to Movie Masterpiece to Little Junky Transformers. But, uh, yeah. So, go check them out if you're in the area of Salt Lake City. And uh, this is Nemesis Prime signing off. See you guys.